everyone, my name is Ashley Dougherty. I'm here with HawaiiShopaholics.com and I want to give you a little part of my 201 class. My coupon 201 class is actually all the stores where I do a store breakdown and I teach you what the store allows you to do. So what I'm going to first start with is Walmart. Um, Walmart seems to be most people's go-to store because they allow a lot of different things. So first I want to talk about just simply couponing at Walmart. So Walmart allows you to go to the store and use your manufacturer coupons. So your manufacturer coupons would be the coupons out of the newspapers, your printable coupons, um, coupons you find at other stores like tear pads, peelies, or even coupons you receive in the mail, um, whether or not you email companies for coupons. So a lot of that information was given on previous videos that I recorded. So if you're not following up with that, maybe watch some of the previous ones. Um, so. One thing to talk about is that why most people like Walmart is that they they give you the full value of the coupon. Meaning, if Old Spice is on sale for $2.46 and you have a $3 coupon, they're going to give you that extra $0.54. Cents. So that $0.54 cents you can do with how you want to do. Um, the one thing you need to be careful with is coupons nowadays, like Old Spice, which is Procter & Gamble, coupons all say in the fine print that you are not allowed to get overage or cash back for that product. So you have to be careful and read the fine print. Now, Procter & Gamble coupons specifically all say that nowadays. So for that Old Spice product that was $2.46, that 54 cents you really wouldn't get back because the cashier is supposed to price adjust that coupon down to two dollars and 46 cents however let's say um, you had degree which isn't a procter and gamble coupon or a procter and gamble product and the degree is maybe on sale for a dollar fifty and you have a two dollar coupon well now you will receive that 50 cents for me personally, I will try and buy in multiple. So if I have four coupons, I'm going to use four coupons. That will now be a $2 overage. And for me personally, when I get to the register, I want to make sure that I have enough products on the belt to consume that overage. If you do not, the cashier will give you the money back. The one thing I do want to let you know is that when a cashier owes you, the customer, money back, a manager has to come and approve that transaction. And a lot of times the managers are so busy, whether or not doing with phone calls, receiving this or that, that it may take 15, 20 minutes for them to come forward to turn the key to give you the money back. So kind of think about what your time is worth. Um, for me personally, when I have that kind of overage, I will go ahead and buy a few packs of gum, maybe use it for a 12 pack of soda, maybe buy a gallon of milk, which we rarely see coupons for milk, maybe buy some hamburger meat, um, or maybe even some produce. Most of the Walmarts nowadays have produce, bananas, apples, whatever you may need, um, or could snack on that is healthier. So think about that. Another thing I want to talk about at Walmart is when you're using coupons at the register, I don't want you to be alerted if a supervisor has to come out um, to your register because you are using more than four light coupons. So say that degree coupon I was talking about earlier, if I was using six coupons, the register will automatically prompt for a supervisor to come over to watch the transaction. And this is just part of Walmart's policy. Another thing is, is if you have a coupon value more than $5, the supervisor will have to come over. And then if you use more than $50 worth of coupons in the entire transaction, a supervisor has to come over and approve the transaction. So don't be alerted if that supervisor comes over. It's not a bad thing. It's just Walmart's way of making sure that coupons are being processed the correct way. Um, and another thing why people really love Walmart, especially me, is price matching. Price matching becomes your best friend. So you don't have to run to five, ten stores every single week to get that one hot item that's on sale at that one store. You can just go to Walmart and you can price match all the different hot items from each store. The one thing I want to let you know is Walmart advertises that you do not need to bring your sales ads. However, if you do not bring the sales ad, what's going to happen is 
the cashier has to run a customer service, see if they have the sales ad on hand to verify the sale. If they don't, they'll literally call the store to verify the sale. So it's much easier if you bring your sales ad in and it will save you 15 to 20 minutes from the cashier having to verify everything. Just have it all there with you and just show them each sales ad. So easy. Um, a lot of people have asked me if they can bring the sales up, ads up on their phone. Um, I have had cashiers tell me that they're not allowed to do that because so many people can fraudulently, fraudulently um, like screenshot different sales ads and piece it together. So don't bring the mobile um, sales ads up, bring the actual paper sales ads. Um, the next thing to talk about is when you're price matching something, it has to be the same exact size and the same exact flavor. Walmart seems to have some different sizes than other stores, so you really need to verify um, your different, you know, verify that the size you are buying meets the sale item, the size, flavor, sometimes it's specific flavors. Sometimes it may be um, a buy one, get one free sale. And the one thing to talk about buy one, get one free sales is when it is a buy one, get one free sale at say, I don't know, let's say it's at uh, Walgreens. As long as the price is somewhere on there that Walmart knows what to price match the buy one at, they can give you the free one. But if that price isn't there like $5.99, they can't price match to buy one get one free. Another thing to talk about um, is that Walmart allows you to price match store coupons. So a lot of times Safeway and the, the sales ads and Times Supermarket and their sales ad, they will have their store coupons and it'll say like hot dogs, two, or two for four dollars or something. You can go to Walmart and price match that coupon and then if you had a manufacturer's coupon, you can use it on top of that because they're price matching the store coupon and then a manufacturer's coupon. Okay, so just remember you can do that as well, but it has to be an exact price. It couldn't say like 30% off. That's not giving you a price. So they have to have exact price. And another one of people's favorite things that was just released last year about Walmart is Savings Catcher. It's an app you can put on your phone and savings catcher will basically what you will do on the app is you will scan your receipt and it will go ahead and it will look for all the local sales and it will give you money back if they find that a, another local store has it on sale cheaper so it makes it really easy and it's kind of like not having to do all the pm the price matching work savings catcher kind of does it for you in case you miss something um and just remember one thing I didn't co cover about price matching is local sales ads. It is so important that you remember Walmart will price match local stores only. So they're not going to price match Rite Aid, which is a mainland store. They will price match what is on your island is considered local stores. Um, and then one of my final things about Walmart that I want to talk about. So we talked about using coupons, overage, price matching, savings catcher. Um, and one of my final things is sometimes getting paid at Walmart. I talked about the overage, but I just want to say if you ever are at the, cap, the register and you are going to get paid, instead of waiting for the manager to come, you can ask them to put it on a gift card and then you won't have to wait for a manager. So that's my last tip about Walmart. If you have any questions, you can email me at hawaiishopaholics.com. At yahoo.com. Thank you.